Hi, I'm Brendan Mails and welcome to my end of financial year market review. For the fourth consecutive year, I've created a market report that has a specific focus on Paddington where I work and live. If you would like to receive a free copy of this report, please contact our office. I'd be delighted to pop a copy into your letterbox or even send you an electronic copy by SMS. It's no secret that Paddington's real estate market has experienced a robust shift over the last 12 months. As you delve into this year's report, we share the top 10 highest sales in Paddington, as well the 10 cheapest house sales in the area, to show where that entry level has shifted. Last financial year, seven of the 10 recorded lower sales were under $700,000. In comparison this year, there were only two. Something else interesting is in April, Paddington hit a record high median house price of $1 million. That's 6.2% growth in median house price year on year. What's fascinating is this still doesn't cut the list of Brisbane's top 10 highest median house price suburbs. An increasing house price gap between Brisbane and southern capital cities is pivotal in creating new market energy. As a result, we are seeing a steady flow of Sydney and Melbourne buyers up north, whether it's purely investment or finding a new lifestyle and place to live. Our Sydney agents are selling ordinary homes for $2 million and more, whereas you can buy a luxury home in blue chip inner city Brisbane suburbs for similar money. I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all the community for helping me raise over $41,000 for Young Care Australia after recently participating in the Simpson Desert Challenge in June. It's only with this kind of generosity that enables Young Care Australia to create real life choices for young Aussies with high care needs whether by care or age-appropriate accommodation. So thank you. Thank you for watching again, and please don't hesitate giving me a call if I can help with any of your real estate needs.